Healthcare providers at Dumpim in the Takwan Suyai municipality are now heaving a sigh of relief following the construction of a healthcare center by the municipal assembly. Stanley Niblo reports the facility is improving healthcare access. The Dumpim community is located near Simpa and it's about 50 meters drive from Takwa, the municipal capital. Dumpim has been demarcated as one of the 32 chip zones but has been without fiscal structure for years. Health personnel have been deployed to the community but for years services have been rendered within a community center. They are operating from a community center. Structure wise it is not convenient. Our efforts in getting befitting infrastructure at the community level is critical. The Takan Swaya Municipal Assembly, realizing the challenges impeding healthcare delivery, stepped in. With funding from the Urban Development Grant, the Assembly has completed the construction of a stored health center, the disability friendly facility, which comprises accommodation for staff, spacious rooms where basic health care would be administered, and sanitary facilities have been handed over to the Municipal Health Directorate. Staff are diligently discharging their duties amidst heavy attendance. Patients from far and near come to seek health care here. Child Welfare Clinic is highly patronized. Nursing mothers are happy. So what's with you? I'm very proud. If you are a woman, obey the am. I need your baby. I was with you, but this is how you are fine. Oh my, I work here. I'm full time. I'm going to be the existence of the new facility has provided market avenue for some traders. The Takan Swaya municipality has 32 community-based health planning and services chip zones, but only nine have fiscal structures. Provision of infrastructure has been a challenge. Takan Swaya Municipal Chief Executive Gilbert Kenneth Asma is confident of improving the situation confronting the health sector but would require external support. And that does it for Mission this evening. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.